Hi there, I'm today I'm going to show you how to make your files and folders private on a Mac so someone will need a password to open them. We start off by opening up Disk Utility. Then you click on New Image up at the top here and save this as what you want. I'll just save this Disk Image. And you might want to save this something unsuspicious if you want to be really secure. Save it where you want, maybe somewhere where your mum's not going to see it. I'll just save it on the desktop. Say, call it what you want. If someone does find it, this then what you put here is what it will come up with. Size, choose a suitable size. So, biggest it goes is 8.3, I think, unless you choose a custom size. So, 2.5 gig will do for me. Leave the format as it is, Mac OS extended, unless you desperately need to change it. Encryption, you've got two choices. I'd go with the lower one unless you want to be particularly secure, but they're very difficult to crack anyway. Partition, have this as a Apple partition map. And image format, this is an important bit, save it as a sparse disk image. This is what will make it secure. So you click on that. Now we click create. Now, this is where you put in the password that someone will need to access the disk image. So, something that no one's going to guess. And it's very important that you untick this box here. Remember, password in keychain. Otherwise, anyone can go, can go onto it and it won't ask the password. So, untick this. And you just click OK. And it will create it. Sometimes it takes a while. There we are. It's saved on my desktop. So, we can. Close Disk Utility now, and when you create it, it's already mounted, so you can see it here in Finder on the side. So it's got nothing in it at the moment. And then to make it secure, we eject it. So now it's on the desktop where we saved it here, and then when we try and open it, it asks for the password. So you put in the password. Don't tick either of these. Click OK. And now it's mounted in the side, so you can drag whatever you want into it. So I don't know, picture. So you can drag that in. Now it's in there. So so you can use it, open it, whatever. And then when you eject it, the whole thing becomes secure. So if someone tries to open it again, they won't come across all your pornography. See. So there it is. That's it from me. That's quite simple. I think it works. It definitely works on Snow Leopard. Easy to do. Hope this helps. Bye.